Hey, campers and travelers and nomads and adventurers in general. People often ask me, why the solar on the roof of my mild-mannered Chevy HHR? Some people are shocked and say, no, no, tell me, really, does it run off of solar power? Does it actually move on down the road? You don't need gasoline? How we wish. But actually, that day is coming. Just talk to Mr. Elon Musk in the Tesla line. That day's coming, but uh, there's many hurdles to get around that first. But what do I do with 170 watts of solar on the roof? At first, it was just a novelty to be able to promote my SolarSonic streaming mobile sound system, recording studio, and streaming studio RV. My other car is a spaceship, basically. It's a 26 foot with one kilowatt on the roof and a little 21, in, a 21 foot experimental half kilowatt vehicle, SolarSonic streaming. So we are flying the flag of SolarSonic on this car V and just as a curiosity piece. But now this camping trip in particular, leaving the RVs behind, we get to explore the system and say that we've got something that's ready for a bit more mass production. This being the first experimental adaptation with a little spoiler and everything. And you know, you're gonna wanna keep your insides cool by putting this regular old foil on the front of the windshield. And why? Because we have refrigeration off of 12 volt power. You can get these off of Amazon, hundred and something dollars, and they run off the cigarette lighter adapter. So if your solar is charging your batteries on your engine battery, that's okay, but better yet, you get a designated deep cycle battery. And there's the charge regulator. The battery's hidden down underneath and it's a real little one. Gel cell, so no noxious fumes. And there's a little inverter. And you can experiment with different kinds, but basically come out with these little cigarette lighter adapters off of the edge of uh, the end of your deep cycle battery. And you could switch the refrigerator daytime while you're driving you could make it off of the uh, the cigarette lighter in your car but as soon as you plug something like this in for a, a couple of hours you may find yourself with a dead battery in the car same with these really handy 12 volt portable fans go camping and you're stuck inside a tent and it gets really hot well there are 12 volt extension cords cigarette lighter capable extension cords run one of these into your tent and you're doing pretty good so you got your refrigeration i think it's like 40 quarts or something ridiculous like that you've got your cooling for inside your your tent and of course you could charge your laptop off of 110 inverter power you could charge your laptop you could charge your phone you could uh, set up your mobile broadband router <laughs> Uh, and in this case, one of the most ergonomic high powered boom boxes we've ever found, this new Iowa, which has its own pretty deep cycle battery built inside and charges off of 110 house power. So we could charge it off of the inverter as well. So you add all of this up and you can get relatively free with a car V and you can flip the panels up for better angles during certain times of day or for better storage. When you're going on down the road, you can stash your tent and chairs and ground cover all underneath there. And it makes it into a pretty badass looking spoiler at the same time. So SolarSonic is about ready to um, offer consultation, certainly, but um, creative consultation, you can build it yourself or we could go into production and we could set you up with arrays ranging from 100 watt flexible panel that's much lower profile up to something like 170 watts like these 285 watt panels on the car and trust me this is going to do a hell of a lot more than these little car battery topper upper panels i don't know how many watts this is three five watts or something 170 and the basic rule of thumb is you know this is fine for recharging your battery like I'm saying but if you're running your car stereo for very long I'm not quite sure that one's gonna be able to keep up with it add this other stuff and most especially the refrigeration 
and uh, the battery that we've paired with it, 35 amp hours, it's just about almost enough to get through the night. Really, you want 50 to 70 amp hours if you're gonna keep that refrigeration going overnight. You also need ventilation for the fridge on the inside, and that's another thing, keep your windows cracked. But we've, uh, we've made this RV idea, car V, into something that you could sleep in. You know, there is enough space in there to sleep one person, even with the storage stuff. So this experiment that came as a result of wanting to go to Burning Man, not having a ticket, not wanting to do the drive for no other good reason, if we couldn't find a ticket on the road, we wanted to test the limits of the car V, and that's what we've done here. So thanks for watching. Feel free to hit up your questions in the comments and uh, stay tuned for other videos like this as we roll out some sort of production for these or at least consultation solar sonic i am ekg electro greg from tahoe california over and out